I'm at APF 2022 on the Fletcher Stewart stand, joined by Emma. Um, how has the show been for you? Yeah, it's been really good. Yeah, well attended, and we've had some really good feedback on the new products here this weekend. Yeah, you've had uh, some some great products to, to show off to people. So um, I'd, it would be great if you could give me a tour of of everything yeah. that you've been displaying to people. We'll do a whistle stop tour yeah. of the stands. We've got the new Stein Arbor trolley, which hasn't been available uh, for the last year or so. It's just the new version available with various attachments. We've got gripper bars, there are plates that can go into the base of it, as well as various bags as well, to make it really multi-purpose. That's been proving popular, hasn't it? Yeah, really popular. We did have three on display, but two have gone, they've already been sold. Um, we've got the new Stein modular guard here, which comes as a three panel kit, um, complete with the reflective banners. And then there are various uh, variant kits that you can add to it as well, according to what site you're working on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are we going next? Uh, and then over to, this is the new Stein Voyager 60 litre kit bag. Um, particularly at the moment with the new double rope systems that have been coming in, you've got two Volt 15 bags into which you can fit a 15 metre rope into each of them stacking within the bag itself and then still have room for hardware and any other items you want to keep in the kit bag. Mm -hmm. We've got C climbing systems which yeah. will follow later on this year and they're all coming through with various hitch cords um, set up with our over carabiners, Pussex and the Skywalker pulley on all our stein ropes. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Stein Elevate climbers. So they're available for different versions in blue, black with 43 and 67 mil gaps on them. Um, one of the biggest highlights though of the show for us has been the launch of the Stein Sovos helmet. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll take you over to Pete who will talk you through the new Stein Sovos helmet concept. Pete, hello. Uh -huh. um, hi, so um, yeah, talk us through the Stein Sovos helmet, please. Yep. Of course, so the Stein Silvers helmet is a helmet that's been in the making for around about five years now with Stein. And uh, its unique um, point is the fact that the helmet comes in a white, um, but it comes with these shells. So if you want a colour change on the helmet, yeah. it's as simple as uh, choosing the colour and adding the shell on the top, and then it clicks in and stays in position. The idea of that is if you've got any contractors who are wanting to or need to have a specific colour, mm -hmm. then they can do that. Mm -hmm. And it also keeps it from superficial damage as well. Okay. Uh, on top of that, uh, you've got the uh, dark and clear Perspex visors. Uh, the dark one on here, the clear one is on, on here. Mm -hmm. um, and you also have, just behind in the glass case there, the mesh uh, version as well. Mm -hmm. um, and this is all coming out in the spring. Okay, uh, great. And um, yeah, another thing that uh, the arborists do like to do is put stickers on their helmets, I've been, been told. Um, yes. So uh, is the, the shell is it useful for combating anything you know, regarding that? Absolutely, yeah. So there's nothing wrong with putting any stickers on top of these because they're replaceable, mm -hmm. um, which again is another great feature because you can put company logos on them mm -hmm. um, or maybe some of the lads who like to do competitions, climbing competitions, sure. like to have random logos on there as well. And it's as simple as taking it off and once again, you've got a nice clean new helmet for work again. So, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. Okay, great. Well, that's an awful lot to, to digest and a lot of new products coming out uh, in the coming months. Yes. Uh, Pete, thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you very much.